Hi guys, there's a new update for the vector field plugin uh, from Django FX for Unity. And this update allows you to save the vector field as a 3D texture. This 3D texture is a Unity asset file and it allows you to, to be used in with the new um, visual effect graph that is still in beta for the moment. So I will quickly show you how to use it uh, for that, I've just um, downloaded um, one of the very latest version of Unity and I've downloaded the vector graph uh, project on uh, GitHub. Uh, I've also created a new scene. It's a HDRP uh, sample scene where I have removed basically all the objects just uh, to keep the camera light um, post-process volume and that's all. So first, I will create my uh, visual effect. So visual effect over here. And um, to be able to edit it, I need to create a template. Uh, so I will create the template in my um, folder over here. And so to create visual effect, visual effect graph. And uh, I will call it uh, sample effect like this and if I double click I can edit the, that effect like this so by default as you can see it's just a simple um, particle system um, I will first uh, assign it to my visual effect object like this so now you can you can see it I will keep the focus on it and I will remove the default um, graph to create a new node system simple swarm particle system like this so this uh, simple example is already using a vector field but as you can see it's uh, pointing to this file which is a 3d texture so you, you can see the resolution of the texture here and the format. So um, with the vector field plugin from Django FX, you can create such files. So first uh, I need in my scene to create a new effect, which is a vector field like this. And uh, so this vector field, I just uh, choose one of the vector field available in the plugin or you can have of course your own that you have uh, created with uh, vector regen so i will for instance use the, the coil like this and uh, that coil i will simply save save it as 3d texture like this so i will save it in a vector field folder like this and the extension is dot uh, asset save okay and so uh, if i check here in the vector field i have vf coil uh, for this one i uh, don't use it uh, anymore in the scene so i can just disable it or remove it from the scene it's uh, really up to you uh, and in the sample effect i've made i simply drag drop that into the vector field you see, it's uh, not really a coil. Why? Because by default, it's using uh, unsigned normalized format. You have to change it to signed. And so when you use this, the correct format, you see that it's working and you have the coil effect. So you can change the intensity, either positive, negative, and also the drag coefficient. So the, the higher the drag coefficient, the tighter the vector field will be, like this. Uh, by default, you have to take care that the 3D texture is in repeat mode. So that means it will be infinitely repeated uh, on the, on, in the world. So if you want to have it only localized at one place, you can change the wrap mode to clamp, for instance. And so um, basically the um, 
first and the, the last uh, column on every direction will be repeat, repeated in, indefinitely. Um, if you want to place uh, accurately your vector field, you can change it over here. By default, it's in local mode. If you click on it, it will be in word mode and you will have a um, handle where you can basically place your vector field where you want. You can also uh, rotate it and you can scale it if you want. If you want to have more than one vector field, you can simply add over here in the update, you can add another vector field force like this and so add another one. So for instance, if I go over here um, and I change, uh, I take another one like, um, let's say a random one. Uh, with the random one that you can see over here, uh, I can also do a save same place different name like this and so i will take the random and drop it over here uh, i will hide my vector field again and so it's it's uh doing it's not doing anything right now because uh, intensity is zero and drag coefficient is zero so if i put one and one you will you will start to have some uh, movement but of course the stronger the effect, the more movement you will have. It's still in unsigned, you normalize, uh, so you have to change to signed. Uh, it will be better. See, like that. So you can really tune with these those two values. You can really tune it the way you want. Um, you can also put this one in uh, in Word and also change this one to be in a uh, clamp mode. So uh, you, you can clearly see over here that uh, it's clamped like this. So if you want to have um, no influence on the outside, you have to, to put zero, um, zero values on the edge of your vector field to basically uh, close it. You can also change the mode by doing a uh, mirror mode. So it's basically doing uh, on one direction, then the other, then the other. It's, uh, it's kind of uh, flip-flop uh, vector field. And um, that's it. I mean, with that, you can really do whatever you want. You can, of course, uh, scale it also. So you can uh, change the, it's also scaling the intensity as you can see. So you have maybe reduce the intensity like this. So you see the wobbles are larger than before. And uh, if you just want to disable one vector field, you can just uh, check that here and uh, well, select the other one and move it where you want. Like this. So you have lots of possibilities with that and uh, you can combine all the vector field you've made very easily and once created you will just have your file and you can um, use it in your project you don't need anymore to have the plugin once you have converted your file so uh, it's uh, it's a bit lighter on that side but if you want to still use the um, the other uh, advantages of the plugin like uh, the, the physics uh, and stuff then you have to use uh, the, the full plugin of course so um, have fun with the new visual effect graph see you